Good evening, Theo Trade. This is Corey Rosenblum, and you're watching the Theo Nightly Video for September 10th, 2019. And we're getting a check on tech, looking at tech names, specifically Apple, because it had their Apple conference or their Apple special event today. We'll get into that just in a moment. But this perspective is our quad market grid with our fangs, F-A-N-G. Where's the other A? It's Apple. I'll do a special update on Apple, but this is our broader comparison with our monsters for tech, titans of tech, or just in general terms, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. We'll also sneak in a conversation about Roku, which had a stellar two-day decline. As we look at these four names, we can see support bounces taking place in all but one. So Facebook is a bounce off of just about the 175, or roughly speaking, almost 180 per share level. Amazon is struggling to hold its rising trend line. And this is the most important thing off of the Amazon chart is not so much levels down here anymore, but this lower rising trend line. It's trying to bounce off of it, but not doing a stellar job of doing that. Otherwise over here, Netflix is underneath its trend line and that's the 300 per share level. And that's gonna be our focal point with a bear breakdown play or additional bear activity taking place beneath 280 if we don't see an immediate return above 300, which may be doubtful given that Netflix shares rallied into and now have traded down away from the 300 level. And Google, which if you think about it from a different perspective, may be one of the strongest of these stocks given that it's up at the high of its resistance play, just above 1200 per share. So that's what we'll be looking at on a broader picture or a comparison picture. If we just tag in Apple here just quickly, we can see how it compares. It's similar to Google, that it is into upper resistance. We can actually draw a trend line up here, maybe even a bearish rising wedge or a triangle pattern, a compression pattern ahead of a future breakout. And that's gonna take place in the 215 per share level. Let's start the conversation with Facebook. We'll go through the fangs individually for Facebook. It is still in this wide volatile range. So 2019 has been kind to Facebook shares, but the bulk of it was through the few first few months of the year. In April and May, we had a decline from 200 to 160, a pivot off of that 200 day simple and this 160 price level and then a pivot down from 210 to just about 180. So we have had a buy or at least a bounce thesis and that's played out for about $10. Not stellar, but nothing to sneeze at necessarily either. So Facebook shares are in a rally mode off of 180. If we can zoom in, the new pivot points for Facebook shares, especially if you're an intraday trader, are 190, which is resistance, and about 180 which is support given that we're between them and the S&P itself is doing a consolidation rectangle. It is no surprise that Facebook shares are coming down at least for now from 190. So if the range continues, which is another way to say the S&P falls back inside of its trading range, then look to short Facebook shares remain short or establish short positions under 185. We can look at Amazon because it I think it's an easier play sometimes. And the trade we're looking at is this type of bull bounce play. Similarly to prior examples for what we just saw in Facebook off of the 200 day simple moving average, which also happens to be our rising parallel trend line channel. Let me go ahead and get rid of these lines right here on our chart. Just looking at the current levels, 1600 shore is a key level, but I really wanna draw the attention to this pivot roughly 1800 and 1750, because it is the end, this little line right here, we drew it with some short sell trade positions or short sell ideas down away from at best 220, the upper resistance, and probably an easier short for you was 2000. So that took price down to 1750, where we've had one, two, three tests of support, but it as well is in a trading range and is failing at the 50 day moving average. So your pivot point right now is 1840 in Amazon and look for it to trade if it gets under 1800. Today's pivot 
down to 1740 or 1750. So that's it's going to be similar to the equity market or the S&P, which is in a trading range. It had a short term breakout, but is inching its way back inside the breakout parameters. Now, I didn't watch the whole keynote. I didn't see the whole presentation, but I did see the products. And I would strongly encourage you to take a look at the iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, that thing is like an alien. It has three little cameras on the outside. That's definitely worth taking a look at for the iPhone 11 Pro. The iPhone 11 is announced as well. So is the Series 5 watch, the Apple Watch, and then a little bit larger Retina Display iPad. Anything revolutionary about that? Adding a third camera? Maybe. But is that going to be what share prices or stockholders or shareholders or corporate America or funds or everybody else? needs to get a bullish bounce catalyst for Apple? Not quite sure. We'll let price tell us the answer to that. But right now, from the price perspective and trading perspective, Apple is into resistance at 220 per share. And that is again forming slightly a consolidation or compression triangle. That makes us at least initially bearish up against $220 per share right here. So cautiously watch Apple, but then again, if we see price move above 220, we have a short squeeze or bull breakout play, $10 higher to 230 per share. So watch the volatility also in Apple. It had a, a nasty middle of 2019, but was quickly rebounded. Next up on the FANG list is Netflix. It is the one that is weakest and unfortunately for Netflix buyers, has failed to hold the support of 300 per share. It's a simple round number level, but you can see in the past that it has been nominally important as a short-term turning point. The last time we were in a significant trading range was 340 to about 380 with a midpoint at 360, and that led to a decent breakout at this point, 40 points lower, and then a little bit lower than that. So watch your Netflix shares under 300. As we see on the hourly chart, we had a struggle to hold this level. Bulls lost it. Bulls got it back. But since last week, or since really later in the month, as we transition over into September, we had a failure. So from that failure spot, we've seen one, two, now three rejections up against 300. So that keeps and maintains Netflix as a bear candidate. If share prices fall beneath 280, that will confirm any short positions you have on, put you further in the profit zone, or trigger new short sold positions if you aren't already in a spot. Now Google, it again is into resistance. So think of it similarly to Apple to an extent where we have this resistance play its level is just about 1220 per share. So Google is up into resistance. Its midpoint is 1125 or 1120 and lower support 12 or 1025. Nonetheless, we still have this consolidation underneath a resistance marker. So if I had to do something, if I absolutely had no choice, I think the short position might be a little bit stronger up against all of these stocks, especially if Netflix falls a little bit lower we have other shares from Apple stay under 220 and Google shares stay under 1220 and ultimately 1200 ideally if you are a bear. Uh, but we'll obviously keep a watch on these roll positions as needed. And if you aren't positioned, the better play I think from a probability standpoint is into resistance to short. But if the market, if you are looking for a breakout and the market does break above 1225, 1230, that's going to trigger our alternate thesis, which specifically would be in Amazon, uh, would be about 1850. And in Apple, we just saw it at 220 per share, roughly here, and so on. So in tonight's video, just think about the technology sector itself, XLK, look at the NASDAQ as well. We'll finish up with the NASDAQ. And it did itself give a little bit of a bullish break. As I mentioned in last week's video, is this the real breakout or is this a trap? And if the market falters just a little bit lower, 
into Wednesdays and Thursday sessions, we'll probably see it down to the prior lows. And that's going to be true in each of the stocks we talked about. If instead the market holds or the NASDAQ holds 7,800, well, we may be looking for a bullish breakout like it, love it, or don't. Nonetheless, as always, be careful and safe. This is Corey Rosenblum with your Theo Nightly video for September 10th, 2019.